Hi everyone, it's Miss Kelly from the Look Found Area Library here today to show you what we're doing with this month's art to go. This month we're going to be making a faux stained glass. So in your kit you're going to have a couple sheets of paper, some watercolors, and some black glue, which is really just glue that's been mixed with black paint. It is acrylic paint so it's staining, so remember to always cover your surfaces and protect your clothes. Um, you'll need a pencil and a ruler is very helpful but not necessary. So stained glass is actually um, an art form. It's actually pictures that are made using glass and copper or lead wire, um, colored glass typically. Um, so to get that effect, what we're gonna do is use this thick black glue and it's gonna kinda give you that line that you would get in stained glass. Um, I give you two pieces of paper because I want you to practice, plan out what you're gonna draw first, and, um, and then you can practice how to use the glue because it kinda, um, you can make your lines thicker or thinner, it's up to you. I mean, it depends on how you want your finish, finished piece to look. Um, but you should keep it consistent. So it should be, if you're going to do thin lines, try and keep them all about the same thinness or thickness. So it'll help to, to practice a little bit. Um, stained glass can be geometric patterns. It could be a picture of a person. Um, it could just be random shapes. Um, they're very common to have flowers in them. Um, they can be flowing lines, straight lines, it's really up to you. So I want you to take your time, design the picture that you want. If you want, you could do a little research and look up some stained glass pictures and maybe get some ideas from those. Um, so I've got one here that I've already drawn. So I practiced a little bit and made sure I got the one I liked. And this is the one that I ended up settling on. So if you see, I did a little combination of some geometric and some curved lines here. And do both. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take that black glue and we're going to outline all these lines. So one of the things you need to think about when you're making your design is that if you make a lot of lines very close together, it's really going to be tricky to get that black line in there and leave a space to paint in between. Because the idea is we're going to first outline the whole thing with our black glue and then in these spaces that are left over, that's where we're going to paint with our watercolors to give it that stained glass effect. So really think hard about how you want to do that and how tricky it could be. Like if you draw someone's face, it'd be really tricky to maybe like outline eyes and stuff. So it might be a little bit easier to start with like some bigger, cleaner shapes like this. But you could do your name in there. You can do an initial. You could just do a picture and make it into a stained glass. By What really gives it that effect is by doing the black, thick black lines because they're going to be raised like it would be on a stained glass. You would get that kind of bubble and feeling from it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to outline mine. I'll get started on it. So to make it a little bit easier, I'm keeping my glue upside down so it's flowing. Uh, like I said, remember, you can take a scrap piece of paper and practice a little bit so you can see how it's gonna come out. So try and do it as smooth. See, you are like that. You've gotta kinda learn how hard to squeeze it so you don't get the beads like that. You want it to be kinda smooth. Keep in mind, once it's down, it's pretty hard to get it back off, okay? That, let's get started. Something else important to remember is that if I go ahead and outline all of this, my hand is going to run into it when I move over here. So what you need to do is kind of work from one side to the other so that you're not going to be rubbing your hand through your glue. Either that or work in stages. Whoops, I got a little glue in. Or work in stages so that you can let it dry and then come back. Okay, so this has been drying for about an hour. It seems to be pretty dry to the touch wherever I've tested it. Now is the time you can go back. I've got a couple little flecks in there. You can maybe get those off, but it's really important to make sure it's completely dry. You can see if you wanted to, this is kind of typical of stained glass, that ir little bit of the irregular look on the metal. If you wanted to go back and make your line a little bit more solid, it's up to you. Um, but now it's just time to paint. Right, so usually when I use watercolors, I make sure I put paper towel underneath the painting because sometimes it gets a little wet, so we don't want it to uh, get too soggy. Um, and add some uh, clean water. And that's it. Okay, I'm gonna get started. I did kind of plan out in my head how I wanted to paint it before. So think about that because once it's on there, it can't come back off. So, that. 
have fun. Remember, if it's not completely dry when you touch it, you're gonna get black on your brush and then you're gonna drag it all through in your picture. So it's worth the extra weight to make sure you're patient and it's completely dry first. tricks for watercolors is to kind of let it go ahead and it'll fill in the area. All right, so just finishing up with my watercolors here and I'm going to give you a couple quick tips about it. Um, make sure that when you're using watercolors, you make, rinse your brush between every single color change. Even you can see I use two colors here. Every time I switched colors, I still rinsed my brush, brush very thoroughly. Um, I also have changed my water several times because if you get your paint dirty, then it's going to come out in there. Um, and I did something that I always think is kind of scary to do with watercolors. I did a really dark color next to a really light color. So it's kind of nice this um, the stained glass border gives you a little, almost like a little wall, a barrier to keep it from going over. So, there you go. Just going to let it dry. Um, I gave you plenty of the black glue and paint that you should be able to make several. So have fun. Send me some pictures of your finished projects and keep an eye out for next month's art to go. Bye now.